talk about the big deal because this is the last day you're going to get the big deal price on this beautiful hummingbird feeder from Roxanne De Palma. Roxanne is known for her hummingbird feeders. They are done of, in hand blown glass. They are works of art hanging in your garden, whether from a shepherd's hook or a tree branch. She even includes the recipe for the nectar for the hummingbirds, which is so easy to make from sugar and water. You don't and shouldn't buy that red stuff. It's not good for the birds. So let's take a look at our choices. Uh, the price on this is under $30. Roxanne, I know that um, on your website, aren't these like for almost 50 bucks? They're like yes, 49 they are, and change. Um, and, and so we have an extremely good value on these here till the end of the day. So this one is the uh, Teal Multi. It's our most limited. And if you want this one, we have fewer than 400 left. We also have it for you in the blue. And this one is that wonderful sort of conical shape uh, with like the diamond uh, etching. And it almost, it's, it's just almost like a milk glass really really pretty this one is a beautiful smooth glass in the red and then over here is the red multi so the red and the blue uh, teal multi look like hot air balloons really really pretty uh, fewer than 600 in this one so Roxanne tell us about these because I know these are near and dear to your heart and you've been creating some beautiful hummingbird feeders for us I have them probably I think I probably have six of them now in my yard because they just are so much nicer than those plasticky ones that you can find at the garden shop. You mean this? Yeah. Carolyn, this is how it all came about. My sweet little mama, who's up in heaven, would sit in my backyard here, and she was just mesmerized by these hummingbirds. And this is what I had, was one of these icky plastic things that just get moldy and yucky. So of course we went to the drawing board. 250,000 hummingbird feeders later, and this is what we came up with. We came up with a glass feeder. It, and then if you look, these are all hand blown. So there are no two alike. On that multi steel one, there's red and yellow. And then we went a step further and we made the, um, the feeder portion out of polycarbonate. You don't ever want to buy a feeder, Carolyn, that has metal on the bottom because it burns mm -hmm. a little baby's feet. Yes. And, if you notice, there's a nice large opening here so that you can clean it. Mm -hmm. Also, let's talk about that food. Every single one of these feeders come with food, a food recipe. Don't use that red stuff because it really does harm the bird. Also, went another step further because, you know, I can't have that normal icky little yellow flower. Of course, I did my absolutely gorgeous hibiscus flower. And then there's a resting place on each there yeah, as look, well. So for their, okay. and it's, it's, it's not metal, so it's not going to burn their little feet. So no. um, they, you know, hummingbirds have that really long beak, but even longer is this little rolled up tongue that's on the inside. So when they stick their little beak in here, they've got a long little tongue, almost like a little anteater that comes out and drinks that nectar that you have created for them. And so this gives them a little place to rest if they need to. Sometimes they'll just hover right over these little flowers. But Roxanne, I was saying before the show that hummingbirds are very territorial. So they once are. they know that you have a yard that has hummingbird feeders in it, they will always come back to your yard. And they, they are, they'll make their tiny little nests that are like the size of a walnut with those teeny weeny little eggs inside. And, you know, they'll just be around all the time. And they're so beautiful and so much fun to watch, aren't they? So much fun to watch. And, you know, they are pollinators, too, so don't forget about that. Carolyn, I have six feeders in my backyard, two feeders in my front yard. And at, let's go back to the food for a second. Go ahead and make it up, and it will keep up in your refrigerator for up to two weeks, all right? Nice. So hummingbirds clap their wings 80 times a second. That is over 4,000 times a minute. Wow. And, you know, think about that. And when they're nesting, they're feeding every seven seconds to their little chick. And they're phenomenal. But this is glass. They're hand blown. This is polycarbonate. So they're not going to fade in the sun. Yeah. How long will this last you? Absolutely years. But don't forget, Carolyn, 250,000 um, hummingbird feeders. Mama takes and retires them. 
So I don't know which one's going to be the next one to retire, but I will retire them. But as you can see behind me here in my garden, we'll get a shot here. Carolyn, in about another two hours here in California, I will have easily a half a dozen hummingbirds. Sure, I believe um, it. Court, Court Walleen lives in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And during the summer, he says, rock 20, 30 hummingbirds all over my hummingbird feeders. He loves our feeders. I love that. But okay. again, it's hey. not the typical baby. Let me jump in. Okay. If you want the red multi, fewer than 400 left. In the teal oh multi, fewer than 100 to go around. Uh, the multi, the hot air balloon shapes are the most popular, so please don't wait on either one of those. Those are the, what I have in my yard, too. Although, Roxanne, I have a solid red one, and it actually seems to attract the most hummingbirds. Um, mine is different. That My solid red one is like this one right here. Um, right. But, but we have a solid red. We have this beautiful uh, sort of pattern, like a diamond faceted pattern on this solid blue one. But here's the deal. They all have red hibiscus flower feeders. So they're all right. going to attract your hummingbirds and they are absolutely gorgeous. This is not plastic. This is hand blown glass. Um, Teal Multi has just sold out. The uh, hook oh that, that is included and it's done in powder coated metal. So it's never going right. to rust. Um, and then this is polycarbonate. So this is not a cheapy plastic base. So this no. is not going to get faded or ugly looking blotches on it like those cheaper feeders. It's always going to stay looking absolutely beautiful. Roxanne, I know you include a little card. I want everyone to know a little card is going to come in this box that has her recipe on it. It's basically a, a, a concoction of sugar and water that you put in the microwave so that it all dissolves. All, you, you don't just want to put some sugar, like a spoonful of sugar in some water and shake it up and put it out there. You want to make it into a, like a syrup. And right. that's what you're going to do in your microwave before you put it in here. But it's super easy and the birdies will love it. And you'll have so much fun watching them come. Be sure and put these out where you can see them from your window. Yeah, and Carolyn, you know, places like California, Arizona, Louisiana, Florida, we have hummingbirds year round. Mm -hmm. um, so you can leave these out year round and make sure that you use white sugar. Honey, look at that blue one with this multi red one together. Well, I'm the, telling you, the, the they're blue, fabulous. the blue multi's gone, teal multi's gone. We have a very few left in the red multi. A hundred left there. Uh, oh the solid gosh. blue or the solid red. The price goes up at the end of the day. And please give that sweet little dog a smooch. That is yes. Mia. And you woke her up from her nappy just to be on this show. <laughs> so thank you, honey. I love you both. Because love you. <laughs> See you, Roxanne. Everybody stay in the ordering process. Uh, don't miss out on that.